So there's this field of physics called cosmology to do with the origin and death of the universe. And the Marvel Cinematic Universe has its own sense of cosmology laid out by the movies. So there are six Infinity Stones and these control all the forces in the Marvel Universe and space and time and sometimes people's consciousness. And it might seem ludicrous to say that six objects can control all the forces in the universe and to be fair that is true. But we can divide up all the forces into four types in our universe. There's gravitation, electromagnetism, the strong force, and the weak force. So what I wanted to do was to explain the physics of these four different forces and what it would be like to control these four forces. And in doing so, I hope to gain an understanding of the six infinity stones. So let's talk about gravity. So if you can control gravity, I think you know exactly what might happen. You could make people float, you could make things fly, you could crush people and buildings, and you could probably blow up some planets. Another thing with controlling gravitation is you might also be able to control an aspect of time. Einstein's theory of general relativity tells us that the stronger the gravitational force around an object is, the slower time ticks there relative to far away. So yeah, you could age things if you could control gravity. And Einstein's theory of general relativity says lots of weird stuff. So in controlling gravity, you could make black holes, you could change the curvature of space, and I guess you could make wormholes, though it would sort of violate the second law of thermodynamics, but th that's, a, that's a different thing. But anyway, what about the strong force? The strong force is the force between protons and neutrons in every nucleus of every atom in the whole universe. So if you can control that, you could do some pretty interesting things. For one, um, you could rip atoms apart bit by bit and pull away protons and neutrons. Also, you could do the reverse. So, for instance, you could take every vague proton and neutron that's floating about in space and pull them together. And you can pull those nucleuses together and make molecules. And if you're really good at controlling the strong force, you could make top hats and cats and, and cabbages, whatever you want. The Infinity Stones are all about gaining total control of the laws of physics in the universe. And already, by just controlling controlling gravitation and the strong force were gaining that impression, but there's more. So let's talk about electromagnetism. When you change electromagnetism, you're really changing the nature of light, because light itself is an electric wave and a magnetic wave. Well, what I mean specifically by changing the nature of light is I'm really talking about changing its speed and that has huge consequences for the universe because Einstein had another theory called the special theory of relativity which is totally dependent on the speed of light in a vacuum being a constant and so if you could change this you could change the nature of time which is what the theory is all about. So this is possibly what the time stone does at the end of Doctor Strange and finally I want to end by talking about the weak force. The weak force is the force that governs radioactive decay so if you can control that you could make stable atoms unstable and you could make unstable atoms stable. This is useful because you can control whether you have nuclear fission happening or not. Nuclear fission being a, a means of generating energy, which is what the Red Skull wanted to do with the Space Stone at the end of Captain America the First Avenger. He wanted to create an energy source for high energy weapons. So yeah, those are the four fundamental forces of physics and I've only briefly grazed over them. But if you would like to know more, we have a website that me and my colleagues have made that I'll link in the description below. But otherwise, I do hope you don't destroy the universe, and thank you very much for watching.